So you have, don't get caught up with this whole chart. I'd kill you guys if you had a chart like this in a presentation. You have four customers. You have revenues and with discounts and you know direct costs related and therefore a gross margin for each customer. That's what we're doing here. You then have specific customer level operating expenses that you can now allocate to your customers. Product handling costs, costs, costs excuse me, 50 cents per unit sold, and you know your units sold per customer, so you can allocate a cost. Orders cost $100 per batch. The no, you know the number of batches per customer. Vehicles. I forget what the allocation basis is there, but it's channel-based. And then these two are customer sustaining. Rush deliveries. You know, if, if a customer demands rush deliveries, that's going to cause you to, um, to incur additional costs. And if your salesperson has to spend a lot of time visiting and hand-holding, that's going to be costs. So you not only can understand your general costs of producing and, de and delivering goods to the customer, but also some of the customer level costs that you have. And even though just on the cost of the goods, this looks like a profitable customer, once you look at the way you have to handle this customer, it's disproportionately expensive. While it's a small number, it results in it actually being a non productive customer. And then you need to make the decision, do we, what do we do? Do we raise the price on them? Do we um, accept it because they're absorbing fixed costs and that's OK? Or they're, they're absor yeah, they're absorbing fixed costs and that's OK? Or do we um, say, you know what? We're better off not doing business with this customer any longer because their costs are greater than their very, their, their costs are greater than their revenues. Their variable costs are greater than their revenues.